All right. No, well, this is the last one for tonight. I just saw that a subscriber left the link to this video. And, wow. This is a man who lives in a neighborhood where the grandmother and the two, her grandsons, or great-grandsons, I'm not sure, died in the fire. And he talks about what's happening. His home is okay, but clearly this is a man who has an awful lot of compassion for um, for what so many people are going through. In his community, 40,000, he talks about how there are thousands of people who are displaced with no place to go. Um, And he also, t you know, it's great to listen to somebody talk about how mainstream media, this racism card agenda that they continue to stoke, you know, and poke and try to um, try to get flames ignited. What he's saying is what I experience here in South Carolina. And that has been one of the greatest things about living in South Carolina. I'm in South Carolina, which is, you know, one of the main um, states where an awful lot of blacks were treated horribly. And within just a few decades, it's a completely different environment. And I have spoken to an awful lot of black people. I shouldn't say awful lot, but um, I have spoken to many black people who you know, know that mainstream media is, they're like off their friggin' rocker in terms of what they're saying about this racism because they are not experiencing it as mainstream media reports it. And they have all agreed that it's like night and day what has taken place in South Carolina so yeah um, and he talks about how families are just reaching out to one another don't care about the color of the skin and this is what needs to get out because you know what there's an awful lot of people who just believe mainstream media especially the millennials who, you know, I don't think that they know their history. I don't think that they know, you know, how much do we know baby boomers? And um, I was a late baby boomer, uh, born in 1958. And just even within the early 50s, it, you know, growing up, it was like so far away. Millennials growing up listening to this horseshit that they hear all of the time. You know, they're, what we lived, they didn't. And what we lived, it's a distant history to them. So, yeah. Um, we all need to be the voice that counters the lies coming out of mainstream media. But I also want to point out, you know, this, this man so touched me. And it doesn't matter that he has different beliefs than I do. It doesn't matter. Our beliefs should not divide us. And he's also asking for, not for himself, because he and his family are fine, and he does have great insurance, so if anything happens to his home, well, even with great insurance, Deborah Tavares has recorded uh, meetings that she was at, Santa Rosa, an awful lot of people are struggling. Nobody is made whole. But I also wish 
that in listening to him talk about this tragedy, that people would begin to do the research on what is taking place in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. You've got to look into geoengineering. You've got to realize that one of the reasons why these fires are so out of control now is due to the fact that the vegetation that we don't seem to be that we don't seem to see burning up but some of it is so you've got all of the nanoparticulates that they are spraying on all of this all of the trees the aluminum the barium, the lithium, which is highly flammable, but you also have a problem with these fires. Take a look at your neighborhood, please. Take a look at your neighborhood. I'm speaking to you directly, and your name, I'm sorry. I just want to give you guys an update out of ourselves. I don't want to um, play. You might have saw the video. That's his name, and it's not coming up. So I'm sorry that I can't remember your name, but please look into directed energy weapons. Please. These fires are deliberately set. And please look into Agenda 2030. California, your state is being reshaped into these mega regions where they want a smaller population to be living so that they have complete and utter control over every aspect of your life. And they can control people in smaller regions than they can when you have them spread out across a country as big as the United States. Please look into this. Please look into the fact that houses, cars, our cars are melting, houses are leveled to the ground. You don't see any bathtubs or sinks, but you may see plastic or a plastic garbage can that hasn't even been affected by the fire. By the fire, they're using directed energy weapons. We are at war. It's an unconventional war. You are, fortunately, not a casualty yet of this war. Your neighbors, all of the homes that you see completely leveled, all of your neighbors, uh, neighbors all of the 40,000 displaced, they are casualties of this war. And I'm not a crazy person. I just wish people would wake up and really take a, a look at what is taking place here because this is going to continue to happen. You will see more and more tragedies. They will become more frequent. They are using unconventional weapons. Weather is being used as a weapon. Please look into weather modification. and the directed energy weapons. All of the information easily accessible on the internet. Please don't ignore it. But it is a tragedy. And listening to this man, I can't cry. I just feel like I'm just going to burst into tears listening to him. The link is below. And he also suggests to donate to the Salvation Army. People need help. And everybody has to come together. When you have 40,000 displaced people, when you've got now hundreds and hundreds of homes, 
what is it, 500 structures, businesses. It affects everybody. And I just wish Americans on the whole would come together, stop listening to this, you know, Trump, oh, the Russians, the Hillary, the Democrats. It's all a show that you're watching. So you don't have any time to engage in looking at what else is taking place, to engage in research, to find out what else is taking place. But there's a lot taking place that mainstream media is not reporting. And a lot happening in this country. And we now have the numbers just continue to grow. The numbers of Americans who are being destroyed on a daily basis. We are at war. We are at war. Please. Look into it.